Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I shall tell you all about the simple past tense. The simple past tense is a very useful tense and it's an interesting tense as well. So let's see how we can use this tense in our day-to-day -day communication. The first thing I would like to tell you is about the structure of the simple past tense. The simple past tense has a very simple structure where you just have to use the subject plus the past form of the verb. The past form of the verb is nothing but the second form of the verb. As you know, there is a base form or the present form and this when changed to the second form is what is used in the simple past tense. So let's look at the structure. Subject plus past form of the verb for the affirmative sentences. When you want to make the negative sentence, you use subject plus did not plus the present form of the verb. Remember when you use or when you make the negative form, you don't use the past form of the verb. We use did not plus the present form of the verb. That's one thing you must remember. And many people tend to use the past form of the verb with did not, which is not correct. So subject plus did not. In short, you say didn't plus the present form of the verb for the negative form. In the interrogative form, we use did plus the subject plus the present form of the verb. So when you want to make questions, you use did plus subject plus the present form of the verb. In the question also, you use the present form of the verb. Only in the affirmative form, you use the past form of the verb. Now let's look at the uses of the simple past tense. The first use of the simple past tense is when you want to talk about completed actions in the past. Completed actions in the past. For example, we met him last week. We met him last week. Met is the past form of meet. I heard a loud noise last night. Heard is the past form of hear. I slept well last night. Slept is the past form of sleep. We ate at a restaurant yesterday. Ate is the past form of eat. They visited the Taj Mahal last year. Visited is the past form of visit. She paid the rent yesterday. Paid is the past form of the verb pay. I completed my graduation from Usmania University. I completed. Completed is the past form of the verb complete. I did a computer course. So did is the past form of do. So remember, when you want to talk about actions that you have completed, you must use the past form. And don't ever use was or were between, in between. So subject comes directly with the past form of the verb. And remember, you must know the past forms. And now let's look at the second use of the simple past. The simple past is used to talk about a series of completed actions in the past. What does this mean? It means that when you've done lots of actions in a, you know, in a, a chain of actions, you have done a, a three or four actions together or one after the other, how do you speak about them? For example, I woke up early, took a shower, had breakfast and left for work. So you're talking about a series of actions. Another example, I went to mar market, bought fruits and vegetables and came home. Raghu went to his hometown, spent a few days with his family and returned to the city. So these are all series of actions. Now let's come to the third use of the simple past. The simple past is used to talk about a habit in the past. A habit in the past. Let's see how. When I was young, 
I walked three miles to reach school. So this is about a habit that you had not now in the past. You had in the habit in the past. I always reached school on time. So when you were a child, you always reached school on time. In my childhood, I often went to the river to swim. So in my childhood, I often went to the river to swim. I had the habit of swimming in my childhood. So these are some examples to show or talk about a habit that you had in the past. Now, we shall look at what the time expressions are. When you talk about the simple past, we use a few time expressions. For example, yesterday, this morning, day before yesterday, a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago means a few days ago. A few days ago, last year, last month, last week, last evening, last night, last summer, last winter. So you can use the word last. Once upon a time, when you want to narrate stories in simple past, you can use once upon a time. Or you can say long ago. In my childhood, in my school days, in my college days, at 8 a.m., at 9 a.m., at 1 p.m., when you want to specify the time. In 2015, in the 19th century, on Monday, on Tuesday, etc. So all these are the time expressions that you can use with the simple past. So what are the uses of the simple past? The uses of the simple past are to talk about completed actions in the past, to talk about a series of actions in the past, and also to talk about habits in the past. Now let's look at the three forms of the simple past. How we make sentences in affirmative, negative and interrogative. Let's look at some examples. I went to college yesterday. Now how do you put it in the negative form? I didn't go to college yesterday. Did you go to college yesterday? She slept well last night. She didn't sleep well last night. Did she sleep well last night? Arun attended the interview. Arun didn't attend the interview. Did Arun attend the interview? He woke up early this morning. Don't say today or don't say today morning. Say this morning. He didn't wake up this morning. Did he wake up this morning? So these are some examples of how you make affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences in the simple past. Well, this is a very useful tense which, you, which we use all the time. So what you must be doing is take a notebook. Write about things you did yesterday or sometime in the past. Change them to the negative forms and the question forms. When you keep practicing sentences like this, first in a notebook, you get ideas or you understand this tense better. When you understand this tense better, you will be able to apply it in your daily communication. You will try and you will definitely feel confident about using this tense when you speak. So I'm sure you will start practicing this tense. Watch the video a few times. Pause when you don't understand something or pause when you want to listen to something again. Practice sentences, practice the examples in this video and also make your own sentences and I'm sure you will be thorough and you'll be very good at using this tense. So meet you with many more interesting videos on grammar. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon with more. Until then, goodbye.